Well, I wanted to do a shootout between my old uh, 8558 analog uh, scope plug-in, uh, Spectrum Analyzer scope plug-in, against the uh, against the Tiny SA. So here's the uh, display done on a uh, oscilloscope. I don't have the mainframe plug-in for the uh, uh, 8558, so I'm just using the XY to, uh, output to the uh, to the scope here. Uh, so I have a 70 megahertz uh, carrier. And uh, we can see the uh, see the levels here. If I turn on AM modulation, uh, we get nice uh, nice carriers, and uh, we're we're confusing the uh, the tiny SA. I believe there's some modes now to turn on if you know that you have AM modulation. Uh, you can turn those on. I haven't tried those yet. Um, that's AM modulation. And if we go to FM modulation, uh, FM modulation is looking pretty good. Uh, we're getting, uh, we're getting very similar, uh, very similar displays on the two. So, uh, <laughs> one of the big problems with my, uh, old, uh, analog one is that it drifts around all the time. The uh, frequency is going to drift back and back and forth, and so you have to kind of you have to have to tweak it once in a while. It, you don't really know where where you are in frequency. You actually have to use a different instrument to figure out what you're what you're at. Whereas this is a, a direct digital synthesis, and you know exactly what the frequencies are. So uh, big big plus in the corner for uh, for the tiny SA. Uh, this one's uh, varying all over the map, um, and you have to go back and tweak it once in a while. Um, but, uh, but this one is operating real time, which is really nice, um, and uh, it does uh, does allow you to zoom in a lot further than uh, than the uh, tiny SA. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. It's it's really like an old analog scope. It it just feels feels nice. It, it operates very very fast. So a lot of times these old uh, analog spec analyzers are a whole lot better than the new digital ones. Uh, a lot like the old uh, analog scopes are still better than, than the digital ones in some aspects. Um, not very many these days, um, but uh, it's nice to see real-time real -time things here. Now, one of the things I had to do uh, in order to make this a good evaluation is to, uh, is to put a, uh, uh, a splitter. Um, normally, if you just had a source, you could just hook both uh, analyzers up with a T connector. And uh, that doesn't work here, and let me show you why. Uh, let's see. Let me uh, let me hook that up. Okay, so instead of using the splitter, I've just gone ahead and put a T connector in here. So I have uh, one one end of the T going to the uh, uh, tiny SA, and it looks it looks the same. And then the other one is going to the uh, uh, to the other analyzer. And you can see there's a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of noise in here that's being output from the tiny SA and getting into this one. So the tiny SA is uh, affecting the measurements of this one. So if you want to do a heads up comparison between spect two spectrum analyzers, make sure that you've isolated the two. Otherwise the, uh, the tiny SA can get back, into your, uh, get back into your signal. Now I can go to the tiny SA and say pause sweep. And uh, then the, uh, the other spectrum analyzer is nice and clean again because it's not doing any uh, any measurements, so it's it's clean. If I turn the uh, tiny SA sweep back on, you can see all the noise reappear here. So be careful of that.